Okay, now it's part five, and this one we're gonna actually just have to start adding the detail. So the main thing we're gonna be working on is this and this up there. Um, maybe that, but I don't know. So just add mesh cube. Um, it has to be wider than it's because it, you know it sticks out. So go to the front to make sure that it's in like the right position. Move it up and sideways a bit. Okay, so close enough. So now you just scale it down. It can't be that much thicker, otherwise it would look really weird. So just make it like that. That's probably good. Okay, so then you move it down. To fit it. And you move this out of it. Okay, so what we did is pretty much the same with the holes, except we bring it out a bit. So just do this a bunch. Control R. So, yeah. So then you got to. Oh, I know. I should probably do it a little bit more. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's good. So now just go to face. And, oh no, you gotta do control R, I forgot. Control R up there, control R down here. And, do control R on the side just in case we have to use them. Okay, so face. Now I just go up, boom, boom. I oh know, we're just doing the front right now, so you don't have to be in Z. Okay, so you get all that. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. So now you bring that out. I don't know. You have to extrude this. And then you can scale it. Um, then you can extrude it again. Because we'll scale this down a bit for each of them. Scale it down. Scale it down. Scale it down. But we can't do it the same. Otherwise, it would be like this. And just go to one position. Which we don't want. Because that would be like a weird gun. Yeah, so this might take a while to do. And if you get into the detail, it takes longer. You know. So yeah. Scale it down. Scale it down. Scale that down. Scale that down. Yeah, so now you have that. Which is sticking out a little too much, so I'm just going to fix that. Do vertices. And just bring it in a bit. So that's good. Okay, so now since, um, if you don't want to do the hard way and do the same thing with both sides, just click Control R in the center of the cube, right click, and then you delete half of it. You just select those, delete vertices. So now it just deleted half of it, so then go to Modifiers, Add Modifier, and Mirror. You have to turn on Clipping, otherwise it will be weird. Then click Y or X or whatever to make it look right. And then you just click Apply. You have to go into Object Mode, then you click Apply. So, yeah. So we have that done. It didn't take that long. Probably like a minute. I don't know. So now it's actually starting to look like a machine gun. With all the detail and stuff. Okay, so now we're going up here. So, I'm just going to go into the same object as this. Just because it's annoying to texture everything differently. To the same color and stuff. So, make it about the same. Oh, crap. Uh, I gotta go back to this shift S. If your cursor thing gets out of position so it's not in the center, you gotta just redo that. Otherwise, it looks really awkward and weird and stuff. So, mesh, add mesh, work. Wait, no, I'm not in this. Tab. Add mesh, cube, scale it down. And that looks like a good, oh, maybe a little sooner. Just in case. Yeah, so that should be good. Now you move it up. To about there. You have to make sure that's actually in the gun. If you make it over the gun, it's just weird and it looks really bad. Yeah, so. Uh, and it makes it look like you didn't spend any time on it to make it look perfect. So, yeah. So then you just go like that. And you scale it out a bit. You don't want to scale it any other way, just like sideways. So, you're like that. Then you extrude it one more time so you get that flattish look. So it's not curved. Okay, so then you go to the top, you click Control R, and you just do it a bunch of times like you did with the other thing. Okay, so, and then you want to do Control R in the middle twice, because, I don't know, and then you want to scale it down a bit, just sideways, because they aren't touching the actual gun. Okay, so, you just select them. And 
and all these details take a little longer than just doing the regular gun. So, and I'm not going to bother writing to do it at the front because I'm sort of lazy. Yeah, so you have all that. Leave it down. Extrude. Then you have to scale all these down like you did with the other one. Which takes forever. Uh, so it takes a while, like I said, a bunch of times, because I don't know what else to say, so yeah. And then, once you're done with this, what we're going to do is... I don't know yet. Uh, so, you have all this, looks pretty good. Uh, except for the front, so I'm just going to do it just because it looks kind of bad without it. So you gotta add uh, a control R at the front. Okay. Extrude. Extrude it again. Okay, so yeah, that's good. It looks pretty good. And yeah, I say that without even looking at it. Because I know what it does. So if you were looking at like an actual gun, it would be like this. It'd be like pew 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 pew. pew. No shoot. Ah. Oh yeah, we forgot to add the red dot size. The and that's so just click tab on that again. Add mesh. Um. Make that. Then I just bring the segments down to eight and eight, like always. HP scale down. You gotta make sh- ah, oh, crap. Ah, no. No. Yeah, so you have it like that. You gotta grab it, bring it up. And you have to make it as close to center as you can, because otherwise it doesn't look too realistic. Yeah, so I'm gonna add- I'm just gonna go to materials right away, add two. Assign one. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna make this one red right away, because it's the red dot side there, and it should always look red. And I'm just gonna make the smooth, that whole ball smooth way, just going down to shading smooth. Smooth tab. Oh, crap, I forgot to make it hollow inside. And I forgot to make it less hollow inside. But uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Actually, yes, it does matter. Okay. So, I apparently didn't finish the inside of this, I just forgot to change the hollowness. So just do F to all of them. Not the F sign, just click F, don't worry. And yeah, it takes a while to do pretty much everything for this. I think I've probably been doing this for like 7 minutes all together for this video. So I think I still have a few minutes left. Okay, so, and that's not good, it's all red. That's not supposed to happen. Even though it looks pretty sweet. Bounce, And just go back to this sign. Whoa, why is that all weird? That's sweet. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so now you should have this. I just didn't like. And it should look pretty good. Go back to what it would look like if you were actually an FPS in your scope and it would be like bang. I got three more blue. Bang. No. Bang, what? I don't know. Eight. Just two. Yeah. Bang. 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 Okay. So it's pretty good, and I'm just gonna end this video. Oh, wait, no, actually. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna end this video. So in the next video, I'm gonna make this. Um, and that's the tripod. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna add this, like, in any video. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna have two more videos probably. The tripod, the scope. And the last video is gonna be the material add-ins and stuff, so 